This that gas, Lolo, bring that shit back. For another episode, I can call this a legendary episode with my boy, Legendary Man. Oh my yeah, God. You know what it is, man. Uh, smoke. We back in the Smokers Man Cave with another legendary episode with your boy DJ Lolo, man. We got my boy, Legendary Man, out from ATX today to turn up with your kid, you know what I'm saying? And guess what? We're going to bring all his new latest music straight to you live. And, you know, like I said, drop a comment. Let us know how you feeling about the music. I'm going to definitely have all his links in the description. So y'all tap in. Tap in with this young man and his career. How you doing, brother? I'm doing pretty good, man. How about yourself? I'm doing good. I can't complain, you know what I'm saying? It's another day, another dollar, you know what I'm saying? It's just I, I feel like, you know, where music is right now and how your music is, I feel like you definitely got, like, timeless emotion felt music you know what i'm saying it's not just like 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 you just in the studio putting shit together you know what i'm saying and that's what i fuck with you know what i'm saying i was happy when we, when we locked in on the interview you know because like i said i'm gonna bring this to the people and i'm gonna let y'all be the judge you know what i'm saying so this first song we just gonna jump into a song real quick you know what i'm saying break the ice then we gonna come back ask them a few questions and um like i said stay tuned that's what it is. Ooh, 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 DJ Lolo, why you do that to me? Yeah, this first song is called Fight Demons. Let's go. Legendary man. Brian Chaffee. Chaffee tried to go up on the room, had a tip. Do that off. Yeah, these niggas on that street shit Take over, get it deep. 
just put this stamp on that. Look, we're going to talk about this first song. It's called Fighting Demons. Like, bro, like, what inspired you? Like, really, you know what Fast and Fear just came out. So it's like, what just, you know what I'm saying? Was, was This shit sound like it should be on the motherfucking, on the, on the playlist. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> nah, for real. Like, what inspired you to put that together? Man, honestly... Back in high school, you know what I'm saying? I used to race cars with my homeboys. I had the white boys, you know what I'm saying? They had the fast cars, driving their mama and daddy shit. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I used to be in the whips, pushing that on the highway. And uh, I got some homeboys that, you know what I'm saying, they get down with that takeover, you know what I'm saying, the street racing and shit. Mm-hmm. And they hit me up. They was like, look, bro, you got to make a song for us. You got to make a, a race car song, something for the charge or something. And I was like, man, I got you. And, you know, it, it took me a little bit to kind of just, you know, put it together. But I tried to stay relevant within all that. And shit, it, just, it, came, it came out. And I just kept from my experience, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, Fast and the Furious. I watch a lot of race cars and Real all tough. that. So, you know what I'm saying? I did what I do. And it came out like that. And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That shit fire, bro. I ain't going to care. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, because we going to ride. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. See, look, I'm I'm all, I'm in the music video right now. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel me? Like, bro. So, like, I'm just gonna ask you. You know, where do you get the inspiration for your music? Like, I don't, I don't know what type of cultural background. What do you What do you identify as? You You, you Latino? Uh, shit. I'm mixed. You know what I'm saying? I'm, my daddy black. My mama had Mexican and white. You know what I'm saying? So. Okay. Okay. So, like, that's what I'm saying. So, I don't know, like, you grew up culturally, like, what type of music? Like, what what did you grow up on? What was your vibe, like, growing up, bro? Because your music is so, like, it's different. Like, it's refreshing. You know what I'm saying? You hear a lot of new artists, and it's like, when I say refreshing, it's like, it's really catchy, but you're not, like, trying. It's more of, like, a vibe. It's like, damn, I need to hear this song. What song is this? You know what I'm saying? And, And see, that's really my goal. Like, I mean, coming up, I listen to everything. You know what I'm saying? I Blues, rap, uh, rock, uh, country, you know what I'm saying? I'm out the country, so, you know what I'm saying? I I really listen to a little bit of everything, but when it comes to, like, me doing the music, like, I always just kind of, my goal is to do something different. Like, I don't want to be the next Migos. I don't want to be the next little Baby, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do something different and stay in my own lane. Like That's real. That's what the goal is. And really, it's about the vibe, you know what I'm saying? And it really shows, bro. It really shows as far as like, you know, putting that putting that vibe into the music. You know, like what would you say like two artists that you that like inspired you? Like as far as like like I like that style. Uh shoot. You know what I'm saying? Definitely Drake, you know what I'm saying? Like Drizzy. That, I, I grew up, you know what I'm saying, when he came out and that was that was the shit, you know what I'm For saying? For sure. Still that boy, still you know that what I'm boy. Saying? Still. And uh shit, him. And then, you know, I listen to a lot of R&B, like, you know what I'm saying, like Usher. Usher, uh, for sure. You know what I'm saying, Trey Songz. Uh, Trigger. Chris, you know what I'm saying, can't forget about him. Uh, I just, you know, like I said, a little bit of everything, and then I just kind of put it all into one, you know what I'm saying? Oh, for sure, for sure. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get into this next track. It's called Been Through Some Things. Do you want to talk about uh, the title? Uh, Been Through Some Things, man, honestly... That one, uh, I got a beat from a dude out of Houston, uh, D. Baker. Okay. And, uh, shit, I was just listening to it, and uh, I was just in my, on my mind. Like, every, when I write, everything I write is something that either I done been through or I'd experienced, whether it's me experiencing it or I done been with somebody experiencing it, you know what I'm saying? So I try to keep it. It's real, you know what I'm saying? Everything real, you know. I, of yeah. course, I elaborate on it a little bit, try to make it to where, you know, I don't want to be locked up for my lyrics, you feel me? But nah, for sure. But at the same time, I keep it as real as I can and shit. I've been through a lot of things, and, you know, I ain't had a perfect life. Uh, I definitely, I'm the first of a lot. Uh, I got, like, six bros, so. Oh, man, yeah, that's so crazy. You the youngest? I'm the oldest. You the oldest? Yeah. Oh, man, so, salute you know, to you. I'm the uh, second. I'm the second child of my daddy's kids. I'm telling you, there's a lot of them, man. So, you know, I done seen a lot. Uh, my mama had me young. So, you know, I was there when she was 17, 18, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I done, I done been through some things. Seen a lot of things, been through some things, and that's really what this one about. All right, all right. Well, y'all heard it from the man himself, you know what I'm saying? We're going to jump right into the track. It's called Been Through Some Things. Legendary, man. Oh, damn. 
DJ Lolo, why you do that we to gotta me? Stamp that. Yeah. Legendary man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We had to, had to do it again. Yeah. Oh yeah, exclusive. I- Came out of my shell, came up living in hell Had a stepdaddy king of a city as well He was trapping that white guy, was pushing that pack I was young, but a young nigga built to attack Watch him cook in the kitchen, was built in the trap Niggas wanna be niggas, I was living like that Product of my environment, that's why I'm like that Had to find a new way, I wasn't living like that Oh, 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 my God Hey, I don't know if you in your car, wherever you doing Stop what you doing, turn the speaker the fuck all the way up And we about to, yeah, we gotta run this shit back for your eardrums Let's go DJ Lolo, why you doing You know what it is. <laughs> Exclusive. Legendary man. Been through some things. Let's go. I came out of my shell, came up living in hell. Had a stepdaddy king of a city as well. He was trapping that white guy, was pushing that pack. I was young, but a young nigga built to attack. Watch the cook in the kitchen, was built in the trap. Niggas wanna be niggas, I was living like that. Product of my environment, that's why I'm like that. Had to find a new way, I wasn't living like that. Oh no, seen a lot of niggas die, so I stay with the pole. Niggas won't catch me lacking this time, that's for sure. I don't do people wrong, but I'm ready to go. I was young, living third life, was kicking in those Riley cops for his cars. I didn't realize it, no, I was bad. All that action was dumb, I ain't no taking any and everything. Young nigga wanted. Had to be a rich nigga, so I start selling dope. Said at first I won't do it, but got right into it. The money came quick, flipping whip like it's fluent. Graduated the ice with your piece, I don't do it, but I needed money. Be broke, I can't do it. The dark is a talk in my head and got through it. The time in the clink, I accepted my fate. Can snitch on my friends, but they flip flop don't mean. Seen the pain in my eyes, I done been through some things. Yeah, been through some things. Can't trust the saw, I don't witness some things. Can't tell the saw, you know what it is. Some things. Can't let shit go, I might trip if you play. Don't got no time for a nigga that's broke. I don't smoke no more weed, I had to let the shit go. Never really did drugs, walk the molly before. Try the next, couldn't sleep, I don't try it no more. Things we said I didn't see I done fucked this man Girl got him angry at me Had to let a bitch nigga know I pack a pole Choke this girl If you try me I'm taking this soul Don't condone any violence That shit really rap Rather go get this money Just chase me a rack Only broke niggas tripping Like Eddie on crack Only broke niggas lie on their lyrics And rap I might cook in the kitchen And apron and bridges Make five star cuisines With two butt niggas bitches And hire they mama To wash all the dishes I can't trust the hoe With emotional feelings I can't trust a nigga That's acting like hoes I had to cut people off To quit stain in my soul But I still got bad habits That shit gotta go I pray every day That I grow to be honest yeah. Been through some things, can't trust the saw, I don't witness some things. Can't tell the saw, can't be through some things. Can't let shit go, I might trip if you play. Don't got no time for a nigga that's broke, I don't smoke no more weed, I done let the shit go. Never really did drugs, walked the molly before, tried the next, couldn't sleep, I don't try no more. Yeah, like that. All I'm saying is my nigga said he been through some things. He tell he telling y'all his life through the music. If you really paying attention to the message, you understand what type of artist this is. He putting real words on rap. This ain't no bullshit. And that's what I respect about this music, bro. So like with this track, like what do, what are some things that legendary man needs to go to the studio to create some shit like this? Like what type of setting is it? Do you you record at home? Uh, so I actually record in San Marcos uh, at Three Hound Studios, and uh, my boy Sam, he's an engineer. I've been I've been working with him for for a little minute, man. It's like he started off in the garage type shit. Now That's he got dope. a whole building, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, definitely that. But uh, shit, back in the day, you know what I'm saying? When I first started, I had to you know what I'm saying blaze up this and that, you know what I'm saying? But Nah, I've been taking a break from it and shit, so I might, you know, I take a couple shots or something, get right, and it kind of just get me going, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get in there and do my thing. Yeah, that sounds good, bro. Like, it sounds like, you know, you put a lot of work into your craft. Like, do you feel like, like, when did you, when did you first start doing music? Uh, I mean, I really always kind of been in, the, in, in and around music, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't really start taking it serious until about, like, 2018, I had people, you know what I'm saying, they're like, man, bro, you don't ever, you don't ever make your own songs, you don't be putting them out, dropping them, this and that, I was like, nah, because I, it really wasn't my, you know what I'm saying, my goal wasn't to be like, oh, I want to go be an artist, this and that, and uh, it just kind of was something that fell onto me, like, people was like, man, you got to do it, you got to do it, like, you gotta I do it. your shit, and I was like, shit, well, fuck it. And, put me uh, in. Put me in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, bro, I ain't even gonna lie. See, 
And that's the thing, you know, it's a lot of things where somebody say they do music and then they're forced to do it. But it's like a thing to where you was like dibbling and dabbling with it. Then people was like, no, nah, you need to do this. Yeah, straight up. And that's, that's, that's like, it's really like a thing, you know, uh, give you a personal experience. It's been a lot of times I felt like I didn't want to do this DJ shit no more. And then I just get that reconfirmation like, you him. You got to just keep going. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a thing, you know, turn up, put it on another level, and keep going. You know, so let's uh let's jump into this next track. It's called Fuck With You. Let's I talk about the vibe on that. Uh, so that one, you know what I'm saying, I, I listen to a lot of The weekend. you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, that's and, my dog. Uh, yeah, I fuck with The weekend hard. And uh, you'll see me jamming that nigga everywhere I go. But, uh, shit, this one really is like... Uh, you know, and a, a female, like, she she got a dude, but she mm-hmm. trying to get at you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you be like, man, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really ain't trying to fuck with you, it, but she on, she on that pushy shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. you like, you know what, I might might go on and give you a shot, you know what I'm saying? But, well. but don't tell nobody. Keep that shit nah, on the low, you nah, know? for sure. <laughs> Straight up. So that, that's really what this is. It's on some weekend vibes, but you know what I'm saying? It's like that. All right, all right, all right. Fuck with you, ladies and gentlemen. Tap in. If you haven't just, if you just tapped in right now, I just want to let you know we're in a we're in an interview live right now with legendary man. This is a Smokers Man Cave, DJ Lolo. You know what I'm saying? We live right now. We're going through the legendary man playlist. Make sure y'all tap into this man. I'm gonna have all the links to his music, everything in the script description below. Just make sure y'all hit that motherfucker and tap in with my guy. Fuck with you.
gonna just say it like this, bro. This nigga came on this whole singing. I did not expect that. I ain't even gonna hold you. My nigga said the weekend, but I wasn't feeling like I was. I I, I got those vibes. I just I was in the vibe. Like I said, that was legend. You know what I'm saying? Like I was in yeah. that. My nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you rapping and singing? You doing both, bro? What's good? Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I try to. I try to just be versatile about everything, like, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, they do one thing or the other, but I could do it all, so I want to express that in my music. Like, you know what I'm saying? You might, you're going to get a rap track, but you're going to also get a singing track, you know what I'm saying? Man, like, that's, what's, that's what's real. And, yeah. you know, to all the artists out there paying attention, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, even, even to the aspiring children, always follow your passion because you never know where it might lead you. If you just stay in one lane, it's hard for you to get different things, different, you know what I'm saying, different avenues, different revenues, different doors to open. You just got to be different. You got to be versatile. You know, not everybody that I DJ for listens to rap every time. You know what I'm saying? Some people want R&B. Some people want Zydeco. Some people want country. Some people... You know, they they want their preference, but you got to be able to switch it up. If you just do one thing, it'll cut you off from your blessings. Right. And, brother, you blessed. Like I said, your music is fire, bro. And y'all heard it first right here. Fuck with you. Legendary man with DJ Lolo, man, right here in the Smokers Man Cave. That's what we doing. So when it came to that song, you know, you we had already did the backstory. I'm like... What how, like what type of mode you gotta get in? Like some, do you gotta go through some shift to just get in the stool and put this down? Man, <laughs> let's just say back in the day, you know what I'm saying. But your boy got around, you feel me? But not for sure. Saying? Everybody got a pass. Hey, and you know what I'm saying. I just like I say, I, I use situations that I've been in. You know what I'm saying? Situations around me, shit that I done seen, and I just you know what I'm saying. I put it all into the music, and and so it just. Shit, it really came out easy for me, this one. Like, yeah. I got in there, you know what I'm saying? Had my little couple shots, got down. Yeah. Lights was good, you feel me? Yeah. Shit, threw the beat on, headphones on, I was ready to go. Yeah, that's definitely live, bro. You put that together, bro. Fuck with you, legendary man. So when it comes to making music, do you do you prefer doing R&B? Or, 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 like, do you prefer singing over rapping? Or you just it's just whatever you feeling like on the vibe. I mean, really, I I guess it really is. It, it, it's up to the beat. Like when I'm listening to the beats, like if if I'm feeling like this got to be a rap song, like you know what I'm saying. But like sometimes I'm like, man, I gotta sing on this. Huh? Like I can't rap. Like this yeah. gotta be. And it's just really whatever vibe I'm getting from the beat. That's what that's what I'm putting on the track. Like okay. And, and that's how I do that. Yeah. And he really explained it the best way because the reason why I asked him that, y'all, because his next song is called Real As Shit. And we did a show together with my boy. Yeah, I go crazy, shorty, inspirational trap guy. So, you know, and that's how we linked up and we did a mixtape together. And he had sent that song Real As Shit. And I was like, bro, I literally have to listen to this song every day. But it's like he's rapping on there and he's singing on there. So it's like, you didn't know he was going to be doing both, but it's like the way he's doing it is just like, nigga, I'm with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, straight up, straight up. You know what I'm saying? It's just real as shit. Like, I ain't going to lie. Like, that that song is really the epitome of what it is. It's real as shit. And um, we're going to jump straight to it. And then we're going to get a backstory after it's over with. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, 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 DJ Lolo, why you do that to me? Oh, uh, legendary man. Yeah. I got it on me, that's real as shit. Diamond stance on me, that's real as shit. Only rules around me, that's real as shit. Got a girl from the valley, that's real as shit. Really shit. I can't tell all my moves, yeah, this really shit Get my chakras in balance, this really shit Come a long way from matters, this really shit Yeah, I got it on me, that's really shit Diamonds dance on me, that's really shit Only rules around me, that's really shit Got a girl from the valley, that's really shit Do shit exclusive, that's really shit I can't tell all my moves, yeah, this really shit Get my chakras in balance, this really shit Come a long way from 
from Madison, it's really shit So we came a long way, eh, 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 I work in all day, eh, eh, mind made up, I'm a gang Give a fuck what they think <laughs> Hey, look, I'm just gonna say like this, bro. When I feel like this, I feel like the 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 Texans are gonna come out to this shit on Super Bowl day one yeah. day, bro. Oh God, this one yeah. of them ones, bro. Oh God, if you not, if you if you feel like it's an anthem, put a comment down below. Let me know what you're feeling. But I'm thinking it's an anthem. Show, show. Ooh, 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 DJ Lolo. To my nigga inspirational trap god for linking us up because definitely it's been a real nigga experience ever since you know we linked up you feel me so when it comes to that song like i need to know the story behind that song bro like, we got to give it to them folks because that song is too real to not have a story you know what i'm saying right right man honestly uh starting off you know what i'm saying it was kind of rough because you know, of course, I had people 
man, you got to do it, you got to do it, you got to keep going, this and that. But when you first get into it, you don't realize, like, all the work you got to put into this music shit. Like, Facts. It's, it's work, and, and I don't care what nobody say. Ain't shit easy about it, you know what I'm saying? And it's a, it's a lot more to it than people know. And uh, I guess, you know what I'm saying, you, you got, you're going to have to deal with people that, you know, not everybody likes rap, not everybody likes singing, you know what I'm saying? So you got to deal with kind of figuring out what your crowd is, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so, you know, I done... I done had a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? I don't like that shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I done had a lot of people like, nigga, that's that shit, you know what <laughs> yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Just, you know, dealing with all the ups and downs with that, you know, all the work you got to put in and shit. I, ain't, I wasn't born with a silver spoon, you know what I'm saying? So a nigga had to put in a lot of work because, you know what I'm saying, you got to work to get ahead. And that's fair. So, you know, all the grinding that I put in. All the work, the time, the hours, this and that, you know what I'm saying? It got me further and further. And I guess really with this song is when I kind of noticed, like, I'm moving up. Like, okay. I've seen shit going better. Like, yeah. and uh, shit, I was able to, uh, you know, I'm working hard, working jobs, this and that. Uh, putting my music out there, going this way, this way, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And shit, really just, I seen progress. And so, really, that's like a progress song. Like, for, and and I really wanted to make it to inspire people to, when they listen to this shit, they're like, oh, yeah, I got to get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, facts. I got it on me. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas get that paycheck. they like, oh, yeah. yeah. You, know, you know how you feel when you get that check? Niggas it's feeling really good. Shit. That's the shit. I got it on me. It's really shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas fly. And so, you know what I'm saying, that's really what it is. Like, it's really like a motivation from my experience of being motivated. And then I try to just put it into a song so that other people can be motivated as well. Yeah. Like I said, I called it already. I said, it's an anthem. And, you know, like you said, it's made for motivation. And like I said, a lot of people look for motivation, especially when you look like you got light and you're making moves. You know what I'm saying? And I think one of your best qualities that I seen on the outside looking in, you know, is you your networking ability. You know, you're not afraid to network with this person, that person. You know, you you get around and that's how you get your name relevant. Right. Your name, you, you know, notoriety in this business because you working with everybody, you're easy to work with. Right. You know, a lot of artists come into this game and they're not easy to work with. It's it's always a this or a that or you know, and uh one thing that I do say that I see in your business and you, what you what your your craft and what you do is you put out the visuals, you putting out the songs, you doing you doing all this and you in the, you independent, right? You ain't signed to a record label. Nah, yeah, I do it all by myself. So, you know, I got to shed light on that. Like like bro, you're doing it. You know what I'm saying? And I commend you for, you know, putting that work in and 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 that time in and you know it, it shows in your work, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, bro, you saw right here, legendary man, DJ Lolo. This is what we doing, you know what I'm saying? So like I said, when we look at this video 10 years from now, because it's going to be up everywhere on all the platforms, you know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? So just go Google my man and check his, check his music out. And you know what I'm saying? You realize that, damn, this nigga was a real one. Or matter of fact, rewind the video and listen to the last songs. This shit's crazy. Like, I'm not just bragging because you're here, bro, but I'm. this is what I'm hearing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. So we're going to jump into this last track before we wrap up. And uh, let's go ahead and you can, I'm going to let you introduce it. And you know what I'm saying? And I guess we'll get a backstory before the song, and then we'll just jump into the track. Cool. So, you know what I'm saying? This next track, Tomatoto, uh, it's actually my number one played song right now. Uh, shit, and really the backstory behind it, there's a it's a Mexican spinner game called Tomo Toto, mm-hmm. and you know what I'm saying you spin, and you either if it lands on Ponera you put you put in money, mm-hmm. or you take money out. You okay. Know what I'm saying and, and you just spin in to either put in or take out. And, okay, it's almost like left right center. It's almost like that, but it's right, not right. that. Yeah. yeah. And then like if you land on Tomo Toto, then yeah. you take everything. You get the whole pot. Oh shit. And, and so really on this one, I was just really on some deep shit. Like, I'm like, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody in this world, like, it's a crazy world right now. Yes, it is. And you know what I'm saying? You got shit. You got people that's rocking with God. You got some people that's rocking with the devil. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. And so it's really like, 
you either you putting in, you giving your soul, or you taking your soul and you running with it. You know what I'm saying? You winning. So okay. that's, it's, it's you give or take your soul. Like Tomo Toto with your soul. Like that, and that's how everybody's really living right now. Like you either out here sinning hard, or you trying to live right. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's, that's, that's really what it's about. Man, I, I, I look. I'm gonna be honest. Already had this track, already heard it. Never heard the backstory. Never heard that story that you just said about the game and all of that. Like, it makes perfect sense for the song now, yeah. bro. I don't want to mess the name. Let's say the name one more time. Tomo Toto. Let's get it. Big person, you know what the fuck yeah, going on. Oh, yeah. Playing Tom and Tom with your soft, living fast, but life is slow. Try to keep my righteousness, but all oh, we were right out the door. Popping pills, I'm a baby when I doubt where I go. In the backyard with the demons, Tom and Tom with your soul. Seen a white girl up and nose, pop the next, now she gon' go. Seen the ones that couldn't handle it, go places I won't go. Hop the stains on my soul, try to make my head come go. Got my niggas at the snow. Like, I felt like we damn near couldn't even have played the song without the introduction now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, we did that so right, bro. Oh, God. Like, I was just telling this man off camera, like, his genius when it comes to putting his life story and life story and just life period in his music. Like, you know, at the end of the day, it's not easy for an artist to be articulate on paper or for people to understand it. That's why some artists, for if it's not for you, it's not for you. But for a lot of this story, it's, it's so it connects because it's the story of a hustler out here grinding for your family to try to get to the next level and having to deal with obstacles through life and different types of people and energy. Bro, you get all that in this man's music. And I'm going I'm to just say this right here, like, I was blown away. You know, I really want you to drop down below, you know, run the songs back. Fighting Demons is number one. Been Through Some Things is number two. Fuck With You is number three. Real as shit, number four. To My To Do is the last track. Don't. Don't play, it's, it's real live music. You know, uh, what do you have coming up? You got any new new, new music coming out? You got, um, when you got a new, new your new tape dropping out, to let, let us know the stuff you got out already. So, uh, actually, all these songs that y'all heard today, they're going to be on the next album that's going to drop. Uh, there's a couple of them that already dropped the singles, but I'm going to go ahead and put them on there, like bonus tracks, you know what I'm saying? 100%. And then... Uh, I got another like five, six songs that's gonna go with those. 
And uh, I'm going to be dropping probably like the middle of, Jan of July, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop everything. It's going to be on all music platforms, uh, Apple Music, Spotify, Google Play, YouTube, shit, Pandora, uh, all that. Like wherever you can get music, it's going to be there. And uh, shit, I'm going to just be pushing that for a little bit. I also got some more stuff that I'm already got kind of in the vault, you know what I'm saying? Okay. That's going to be coming soon after that, but... I'm going to definitely be pushing the album. Um, and shit, that's going to be my main focus right now for the next couple months. Okay, so this is the part of the show where I ask you. You got, you about to do an album. You wrapping up. You need five features. You need them, like, to finish your album. You're like, yo, I can't turn the album in until... I get these five. Who are those five people? I need future first, you know what I'm saying? Uh. Oh my god! You know what the fuck going on? You feel me? Um shit, I, I got a couple of local local artists that you know I've been really wanting to work with. Um there's a dude, his name James Worthy. Uh his name Worthy Too Hard now. Okay. Uh, I did I actually got a couple tracks with him, uh, and they'll be on the album. Uh, but he definitely, he go hard. He had a, a PC, uh, was that? yeah, Port Lavaca. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, and shit, I mean, really, like. That's two. Shit, I, I really need that boy Lil Baby on the track, you feel uh, me? Uh, he need to go on, call me up. Uh, I've been I've been trying to work with uh, Sauce Walker, you feel me? Let's go. Get him going. Um, and shit, man, that boy D-Baby. D-Baby, yeah. Hey, Definitely got to get him on the track. Shout out, shout out, Diamond Entertainment. Oh yeah, and then shit, just just for the fucks of it, I gotta have that boy X the plug, and nope. that boy Mexican OT. You know what I'm saying? They doing big thing. You know, Mexican OT right, actually right down the road from where I'm from. Oh, so, for real? That's yeah, live. Yeah, yeah. So you know, it was, it was pretty cool seeing him come up. Cause I'm like, man, that dude from right around. You know what I'm saying? He right down the road from where Hello. I'm from. So and he doing big things. So yeah, definitely that. All right, that's a that's a strong seven. We can we you know what I'm saying? So when it comes to music, bro, you know, uh what is the message you try to put out there for your fans? Anybody that's listening, anybody, you know, that's trying to get in the music industry, what message do you have for them as far as being an artist? Sure, just be ready for the hustle, like the grind don't stop. So you gotta be mentally prepared, ready to put in that work and Keep going when times feel like I just can't keep going. You got to keep on going, keep on pressing, and keep putting everything you got into it. And you can't, you can't just be halfway. You know what I'm saying? Half-assing it. Like you got to go all in or nothing. Like that's the only way to do it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, uh, like I said, everybody, it's another legendary episode of your boy DJ Lolo and the Smokers Man K with my boy. Legendary man. Oh, yeah. Appreciate you stopping through to come fuck with me today. Sure, and sure. we definitely gonna lock in on some work in the near future. So make sure y'all tap in and make sure y'all go look. Check the links in the descriptions. We're gonna put it down below. Y'all tap into this man music, man. We about to get out of here to uh Yeah, I'm fighting demons. I'm that's what I'm on. It's that shit right here. <laughs> Mr.
that I'm sliding Got that truck to go boom boom Pedal to the metal music Turn up my truck go boom boom Racing with the stars Late at night Look through the moon roof Nobody gon' catch me Speed of light I'm talking zoom zoom I'm talking zoom Yeah we gon' ride Pushing these hearts. I was slave service, stand.